Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to Thomas Cook Group's Peter Fankhauser in discussion with Skip's Safat Ali. Dinosaur of travel. Dinosaur of travel. I didn't say that. <laughs> um, that was not going to be my opening question. But, um, but why are you considered the dinosaur of travel? Because I'm so uh, long in the travel industry and uh, a representative of the legacy tour operator and I feel quite old when I look around here. There's all these uh, young people and, and, and all this tech tech uh, oriented uh, people so well but you uh, no, it's nice to be here thank you very much of course for yeah thank you for coming but to so expand on that you have been since you've become the ceo are instituting a lot of changes in the company you're trying to make it uh, you have one of the phrases i think you've used is indiv individualized mass tourism um how are you thinking about it yeah that as a representative of a, of a package tour operator, and I can use the old terms, uh, uh, package tour operator is not what it, what it was uh, five years ago. And it has nothing to do with this seven and 14 days, uh, everybody on the same, uh, on the same track and, and on the beaten tracks, but it's still mass. So what do you do uh, when, you, when you have a legacy? 177 years mm -hmm. legacy, uh, and and when you say mm, we we have to reinvent what we are, but you can't you can't go just and and turn an elephant around and make a butterfly out of it. That's mm. not possible. So uh, where do you start? And we started with what does the customer want? And 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 we started with a totally different attitude in Thomas Cook. We were talking Thomas Cook about packs. Do you know that? Packs as, as an abbreviation of passengers, right? And where we were counting our customers and uh, by packs, and and this. Ask them what that means. They probably would not know. The, the the customer didn't know that they are packs or that we call them packs. And but if you if in your company if you in your company you hear people talking about packs, then you know definitely that you have something to change. <laughs> Um, and then and then we said okay we we just we want to refocus the whole company on a, on customer at our heart and we made very 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 tough customer promises we changed as well the values we we said we we wanted that our people are getting into the shoes of our customers and because our customers are not wearing shoes but flip flops we said <laughs> wear their flip flops and that came that went down extremely well and and people got it and and and, and then from that we said okay what are the customer needs? What, what is telling the customer us out of this customer orientation? And, and they told us they don't want to be considered as mass, mm -hmm. not as packs and mm -hmm. not as mass. And, and, and that brings you then to the individualization. And then you say, OK, everybody, you and me as well, that we want to be individuals. We don't want to be just following all the others. We, and, and then we said, okay, what, how, and how can we individualize our our experience? Which is a lot of people. You could tell it is massive. What we have as customers, how do we individualize the customer experience on our holidays? And our, and, and then we started and say, okay, we don't we don't we we we, we don't just offer seven fourteen days. We are going to to use technology to really. Uh, make the best experience out of it, and 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 that is not only web. Of course, we have we had about two thousand shops. We, we cut them down to half of it, and, uh, and and invested heavily in the web journey. But this is as well uh, as well uh, content. Content is absolutely key, and, and customer data. And and you know, somebody growing up in the travel industry, when you made a brochure. And, uh, and and you had exactly a four page and you knew those three uh, <coughs> columns, columns you can use and then you have here one or two pictures and then three columns and text and oh the price box as well and and what you can do today with content is is amazing and out of that we then said okay what is the need from a customer uh, when he goes in a hotel he would like to know 
where exactly he goes, and he would like to be able to pre-book the room. That's like extremely important, played back from customers. And, and so pre-book the specific room. A specific that room. So we have the location of the hotel, we have the room plans, we have the, 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 the floor plans, we have uh, videos from the rooms, and then we say, you can pre-book it. Of course, that's a, a wonderful service. I don't talk about now the sun beds, which you can pre-book as well with Thomas Cook in, in certain <laughs> hotels because it's not a, it's not a, it's not a sales pitch, right? But uh, all all that stuff, we, we just we just uh, improve so the for, customer experience for, for somebody, coming from the customer. So somebody like me who's probably never has never been on a package tour, I'm saying Thomas Cook has. Uh, I was amazed when I heard the news that turns out nationalities weren't allowed to mix. Like, how does that work in travel? <laughs> Isn't that the whole point of travel? Like, wh at what point that that happened? And then you said, okay, well, nationalities are obviously want to mix. Isn't that the whole point of travel? So certainly, I mean, that thinking of changing the whole company's thinking from. Yeah, exactly. That that is a myth. That is a myth. People like me, in my age, were, were transporting throughout the years and say Brits want in the British hotels with, together with Brits and then Germans in the German hotel and uh, you can't mix them. And then always you, you bring this uh, this this uh, example in Palma, the the German strip and then the English, the, the Magaluf Brits don't put an, a German in. That is going to be ending up very very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> And on the other way, Playa de Palma, don't put Brits in because that's going to be even more difficult in the beer bars, you know. And the Imagine if there's a football game in between those. Oh, yes. So, and, and then we, when, 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 when I started in the UK and when I came from Germany to UK, we made a huge, a huge customer research, about 18,000 customers, many, 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 many questions. One of it was, would you mind to share your hotels with other nationality. And what was really striking for me as well, I have to say, is that in every of these three big markets, and this Nordics is Germany and is, uh, is, uh, is, is, is UK for us, exactly 10% said, only 10%. And in every country was the same 10%, not the same people, but was 10% <laughs> said, no, no, I want, I want to export my home country into the hotel and I want mm. Rösti and I want uh, uh, sausages. And 90% said, oh, that would be nice to share with other nationalities. What you can't do is to put 90% of Germans in a hotel and 10% Brits, or that, that's not working. Mm. But if you, if you make the mix right, then, then it's, it's perfect. And you know, we, we, we launched this Casa Cook. Nobody, nobody expected that from a tour operator like Thomas Cook to, to have such a great concept. Go on thomascook.com and have a look. So these are the hotels uh, on, that on, you on have Casa started. Casa Cook.com and have a look. That is a concept we developed. Uh, it's, it's, it's a, it's a affordable chic, we said. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's absolutely stunning, fabulous. 90% of the customers we have there are new customers to Thomas Cook. And then we invited the journalist from UK uh, to, to, to have a, an interview with me in one of the Casa Cooks in Kos. And he went there and, and he took his wife with him and, uh, and, and then we, we met him for, for dinner. And then he said, do you know what? I met some Germans, they are quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things you've said is design, this is part of the Casa Cook um, philosophy that you, design is a big part of how you're thinking about reinventing the company. And this is not just in terms of yep. um, the, the Casa Cook concept. Yeah, that, that is something we, 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 uh, we got as well back from the customers. And uh, we, we have, we have on, uh, it was really, a, not, really not a sales pitch, but on our, on our webpage, uh, thomascook.com, we have a holiday report. And that is really worthwhile uh, reading it. It just because came out that, two days it ago. It just came yeah, out, yeah. I think, uh, Monday. this week, Monday. Yeah, yes. yeah. It's really worthwhile. That are the trends, uh, of, of course, the destination trends, but there is as well a, a, a really strong trend that 90% of our customers are telling us that uh, design and decor of a hotel is very much influencing their decision in which hotel they go. And it is or to buy the package in the first or, place. Or to buy the package. Uh, you know, if, if you can only buy it with us, then you buy a package. Right. And then you realize, oh, it's not so bad to be on a package holidays. Because if, if you are on a plane, 
but the others are as well customers of Thomas Cook where I bought the package or you are on a plane with EasyJet where most of the Orion is a better example where most of them are not on a package holidays it doesn't make a difference you, you are probably it makes a difference because on our planes you are helped and served better but mm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> well the Ryanair CMO is going to be here any okay. second now um, so that'd be great conversation that was a joke um, um, <laughs> But 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 then it's, it's individual. It's, 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 it's individual. You, you can go out. And either you take a bus or you have to uh, book the transfer with us, and then you are even on the transfer individual because you can book that as well. So then then you go then you go in our hotel and and you have exactly what you want. So that is design. Design is is key. And if you can buy that with us, then, then we have as well a, a, an additional advantage of all the other advantages what you have when you book a package holiday. And, and you know, that is as well a miss. A miss a bit, not in the travel industry, but a miss a bit in the, in the public opinion right. that the package holidays are not growing. I'm sorry to say, we are growing nicely. And the package holiday market is. So, what do you think nicely. is driving? Is are are you seeing any change in the demographics? I know you've talked about it in the past, obviously in earnings as well. Um, what, for instance, in the UK, are the demographics changing? Are people who are buying online? Is there some sort of oh, fatigue yeah, yeah. with all the choices happening? Or what, is there some true line you can draw from? Like too many choices, let's go with this. Yeah, that that what we what we get back from our customers as well. If if he comes on our webpage and they have, we we measure every everything what we do, we measure with Net Promoter Score, and uh, and and our web journey has a huge, uh, absolute fabulous Net Promoter Score, and and they 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 love the guidance and they love the the experience on it and they love that they have somehow, yeah. You know, a, a, and, and we are using more and more as well artificial intelligence that we can follow him and, and, and propose him the, also the right things. And, and is as well in the meantime, what is coming up as, 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 a, as, a, as, a, as a selection is, is tried to be tailored and to, to, to really fit what he, what he did with us and what mm -hmm. he is, what he is uh, looking for. So that is something what, what we think we are up to date on our web. And, uh, and and what we see as well and that is was you were be you were way behind I would say a few years oh, yes. ago oh that was a, that was a, was spaghetti processes and uh, uh, really really bad I have to say that really bad and, you know when you have two thousand shops then you think oh I have to do uh, somehow nurture those two thousand shops now we have we, we, we have half of the two thousand shops left. And we see the shift is, is massive. What we, what we then will there be a point where there's zero shops at some point? Sorry, will there be a zero shops point at some point in your uh, we have in the Nordics, we have one shop left. Hmm. That, well, that's a funny story. When I was uh, younger and then just on the executive board of, of Thomas Cook, and, and I was in Germany, and then in Germany, we had still have a, a very uh, modest uh, internet web share, right. very modest. The whole German market has a very modest web share uh, compared yeah, which to is other a markets. Thing that, uh, people it's a thing don't know. Of, yeah, yeah it's don't incredible. Know. But it's a, it's, a, it's a fact. And and my colleague from the Nordics, uh, he had a, a, at that time already seventy percent. And then I said, Sam, how do you do that? And he said, You know, that's not just me or us. That is as well the market. Scandinavian people don't like to talk. <laughs> <laughs> so, but Germans do. <laughs> Obviously, yes. Yeah. No, it's a, no the, the, the whole, the whole, the whole, uh, the whole uh, distribution structure is, is totally different. So Nordic, you're ninety percent. Ninety percent, one shop. Uh, I think that one shop is in Stockholm as a, as a as a brand window. Uh, in in UK, when I arrived in UK, we had one thousand two hundred twenty two shops. I still have it in mind. Mm. Now we are just below five, uh, below six hundred. And how are and, you? And we try we try now with as well with technology. We try now to somehow link those two distribution channels and uh, a customer can start in the shop or he can start in the web and then he can go in the shop or he can go in the shop and then end up in the web. We don't care. We say we want to be where our customer is. Are, is the window of booking changing to people? I know Jan obviously and early in the years huge has always historically yeah. been. Yeah. Has that changed? Not, not really. Uh, in, in the, in the, the, the big picture is always the same. 
So mm. it starts in, in UK, it starts a bit earlier. We now try to, to be as well earlier in the other markets in Germany. We start as well now earlier to sell a season. And then in, in every market you have this January, February peak. Sometimes when you have a disruptive environment, then it, it is shifting a bit. But normally the big bulk we have the, in January, February of bookings for the summer season. Um, any chance winter becomes a big business? Oh, winter became a big business for us on long haul. So uh, we, okay. we uh, so US, USA and, and, and Caribbean are number three and number, no, number four and number five. No, so winter as in winter as a concept versus like going away from winter to other places in winter. Ah, winter holidays, ski holidays, yes. you mean? Yes. Does that ever become a concept for Thomas Cook or is it a big uh, push? No. Look, uh, what, what we did as well in the past is we, we and, and this is the, the, the oh, sorry. Sorry. That's your PR person calling. No, you're wrong on that one. No, no. No, okay. So, um, I, I really thought that I have it on me. Sorry. That's fine. No worries. So what, what, is, what, is, what is really a, a, an advantage uh, in, 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 this, in this digital world is you can partner. And we know what we are best in, and that is on beach and sun and beach holidays. And there we are really focusing our portfolio, and the rest we give to somebody else who can do it better. And we say, for example, an Expedia can do that much better, what is domestic and what is city. So explain what that, what that deal was. I know that was a big deal for you when you announced yes. the Thomas Cook Expedia, and I think in Australia as WebJet. Uh, yes. So what, whatever is sun and beach, we, we partnered with WebJet. We say we want to have a portfolio of 2,500 to 3,000 hotels. In, in, the, in the center of that are our 200 own branded hotels, where we have uh, really the, the, the absolute access on quality, on allocation, on price, on, 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 on everything. And, and, and then about 2,500 2 partner hotels, where we are a holiday maker, uh, where mm -hmm. we are focusing on quality, where we have a 24-hour uh, uh, satisfaction promise, really a, qu a quality promise, which is very strong. And then we said, and the rest, the customers are expecting us as well to offer, but somebody else can do that better. Mm -hmm. As well to minimum quality standards, what we, what we promise our customers. But there we say, somebody else can do it. And with the technology of today, that is quite easy to do it. And it is quite easy to say, we don't want 20 or 30 bad banks, we want one. Mm -hmm. Primarily one bad bank, because what we had as well, we had really spaghetti processes on IT, because everybody was doing what he wanted to do in the whole group, in the best intention, I mm -hmm. have to say. Mm -hmm. And, and to, to really slim that down and, and to, to, to consolidate that, to make it simpler, is allowing you to then as well introduce a much leaner IT. And then in city, in city and, and uh, in, in all this, what we call domestic and ski holidays is part of domestic. That is mm. primarily when customers are driving with the car in the, in, in the destination or here on the continent or the Dutch. We see them uh, with their number plates, the yellow ones through, through Germany driving. We see them through the Gotthard uh, in Switzerland. So uh, it, it is a big, big market. But those hotels, they don't want to uh, that uh, that uh, uh, a contract is coming with a piece of paper and then he is filling out a, a, a contract. Mm -hmm. That are dynamic rates, that are a totally different world. And we said Expedia can do that much, much better. And, and but I, when I said we have an absolute fabulous web page on package, on the package journey, we are rubbish on hotel only. Mm. On city that that and, and if a customer comes to us our package journey and we know that customers on on a, on a, on a package holidays they want to have as well a city trip and then they go on our city uh, page and then they are totally disappointed with that experience so mm -hmm. we said we have to do there something but you don't have the money to do everything right. so we said we we choose a partner where we can use the technology as well, and when we can use the content, we don't use the whole content of Expedia, for example, only what we, where we are 100% sure that these are going through the standards of health and safety, of quality checks, and that is uh, for us now, uh, in our standards are for, to start with 65,000 hotels, mm. but the range is much bigger because we had old-fashioned right. 5,000 hotels in mm -hmm. that space. So, Coming back to your question, winter, we partner.
So speaking of money, you mentioned money. Um, Chinese uh, owners that have a stake in you, yes. Fosun, which also have a stake in Club Med and Club Med's uh, CEO for uh, North uh, for Europe and the rest of the world is also speaking later yeah. today. Silva, I saw um, the program. How do you two coordinate, or do you, or is there any type of coordination that can potentially happen uh, with a? And obviously, they're minority owners in in that sense. Has that changed the business in any way since uh, Folsom has become? Yes, uh, yes, that, that changed the business in a way that we had the chance as well again to partner with somebody uh, in, in China. And we, we really we made a startup in China and China is the biggest uh, travel market, holiday market, and it's the fastest growing holiday market. Now it's not so easy to go as a foreigner into China and we okay. decided we need somehow somebody really strong in China, who is supporting us? And we were within six months. We had all the licenses. We had. We were operational within six months. And now, in the first year, we made twenty thousand customers. And we said we want to have in the now in this year we want to have ten times more. So that is that is a is a huge opportunity for Thomas Cook, and they are greatly helping us in uh, in, in in setting that up. And uh, we, we are happy with uh, with Fossil, and they keep the promises. They, we, they came in with 5%. They said the lucky part is they're not HNA. Sorry? The lucky part is they're not HNA, which is a whole different game for a lot of other hotel yes, owners. Yes. So I that was an internal joke for whoever is owned yeah, by yeah. HNA here, so I'm sorry. <laughs> um, no, so no, we, we, are, we are impressed by, by, by the management. We are impressed by the chairman of, 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 uh, of, of Fosun. And, uh, and, and we have as well a good cooperation with Club Med. Selma okay. will for sure say that we are the biggest. Uh, <coughs> offline distributor in, uh, in France for Club mm. Med. So uh, we're going to go to some questions. The questions are here, which I don't know if you, you will be able to see. Okay. So the top question, mass tourism is seen as a cause of over-tourism. Busloads coming in, consume a place and leave. Does, Com does, does Thomas Cook have a role in managing it? Over-tourism, what's yeah. your responsibility? Look, we, 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 since years, we, we have we have buses, yes, which are coming uh, in... in, in uh, Planes which are coming into Mallorca. What what we what what is new is that uh, the whole flat tourism uh, apartments came in in a totally different way in a in a much much more easier way to do with with, with Airbnb, which obviously did a great job, and and there uh, we have an additional and, and you can trash him. He's just standing right there. The head of European business. I don't blame you. It is wonderful business. I even I even used one of your slides in my presentation uh, lately. <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was it was labeled Airbnb, right? Not to confuse people. So let's 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 go to the what can oh, we do? Right. What what can we do uh, uh, to handle it better? I think we have to to inform the people as well that they behave responsibly in the destination. And as we inform about security and safety, we want to inform as well. And that is, again, in, in the digital world, you can do that much, much easier, that they, that they behave like they behave at home. That is, that is one really important factor where, where we have to, you have to, to respect Who's the people. Who's the worst? You can say it right here. Who's the worst? Nationality-wise, I'm kidding. No, I, would, I would not make a difference. Right. I would not make. I, it, it, I think the factor is in, in every nation the same. Yeah. But this is really th that we respect as as holiday makers that we respect the culture, the behavior of the, of the of the people we are visiting. That's mm. one thing. And the other thing is, and this is well a, 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 a form of sustainability that we are helping as well in the destination the people <coughs> to to educate to train. Uh, the, 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 the hotel staff to, to really that they see the benefit as well uh, what we what we are bringing and we are bringing a huge benefit let's take Tunisia Tunisia that we can fly back now out of, of, of UK we were we were we were welcomed that was overwhelming mm -hmm. and then as well together with the government we were setting up immediately programs that we are getting them back as soon as possible to the old quality standards and that we get them back all to work. And that is a contribution. And then my for guess us. is like if people say, oh, Thomas Cook is going there, that means if we want to do on our own, that is safe enough to do it. And that's sort of all boats rise type 
situation, hopefully in Tunisia. Yes, yeah, countries. definitely, definitely. And, and you know, everybody has to make up its mind where to go yeah. and with whom to go. And right. whether they say, okay, I take the risk to go uh, on my own, or I don't take the risk to go on my own. I go in the hands of a tour operator who has a duty of care. If something happens, we are, we are taking them out of, of, every, of every situation. Yeah. Uh, t- um, clearly, TUI somehow seeded this question. Um, is your competitor TUI doing anything that you admire? Uh, as you try to reinvent Thomas Cook, you're learning anything from TUI and others. I learn, I learn daily from others and I try to learn daily from what I hear around me. Uh, TUI, is a, TUI is a very serious competitor, so uh, I think we made a lot up in the last years. And uh, in, in certain areas, uh, I would say we are, in the meantime, we are really leading the way. Not against TUI, it, we are leading the way in the industry and that, that, is, that is our target. Just by the way, the... F- Two is not here, certainly not for lack of our trying, I'll just say that. Um, how important is loyalty, and this is probably the last question, um, uh, how important is loyalty repeat booking, what are you doing to secure re- repeat booking? Oh, that, that, that is, that's a great question to end on. You know, when, when, when I said customer at our heart, what you don't get measured, you don't get done. And, and we introduced the net promoter score. And then they said, okay. And, and latest, when I linked the net promoter score to the bonus system for all the 150 leaders, top leaders in Thomas Cook, they said, oh, it's it. now he's serious. And I equally weighted net promoter score development to uh, EBIT and cash. Mm-hmm. And the only reason, first of all, that everybody really bought into it, as well financially, but the reason why I took net promoter score is that is really a simple but a great instrument that you measure how can you enthuse and choose and make customer enthusiastic. It's only counting the 10 and the 9 and the 8 is already not enthusiastic. So it's probably not one who is recommending you to your friends mm-hmm. and is coming back. Mm-hmm. And that is a very, very strong measure. And, and the only reason is that we say we want to re- we want to keep our customers because we want we are so great that they say I'm really a fan of you, and then you have as well to do all this the stuff at the back end those right. who are detractors, but that is that is uh, that is something where we are extremely focusing on to get the net promoter score up, and we know now the correlation between net promoter score movement and repeat uh, loyalty uh, mm-hmm. scores. And, and then the other thing is uh, to, to really develop concepts which are, which are somehow surprising the market with Casa Cook or with Cook's Club, what we are just launching now. And there we have really we tapped into new territories uh, in the customer segments. As I said, in, in, uh, in Casa Cook, we have 90% customers we have never seen before. Mm. Thank you. That was fascinating. Thank you very much.